From Senegal, Jabril Diop Mbete. Tukibuki was made in 1973 for $30,000 and is something else again. It's a cinematic poem made with a raw, wild energy about a young couple who dream of leaving for France. For many years, the common idea of world cinema history in the West was pretty cut and dried. Japan, for the most part, you had Kurosawa, Ozu, Mizuguchi, uh, Russia, Eisenstein, Dovshenko, Padovkin. India was Sajit Ray. And Africa, the entire continent, was Usman Semben. But as the years went by, thanks to the writers and curators and distributors who sought out the rest of the work, this extremely narrow story kept getting wider and wider. In Africa, Semben was, by and large, the great inspirational figure, I mean, a real father figure. Unlike Semben and Sise, Membete had never had any formal training when he made his first picture. He just picked up a camera, started shooting. He made only a handful of films in his very short life. He died at the age of 54. But each one is very special and has its own unique energy. I'm just sort of coming to discover the precious riches of African cinema. And like many others, I was overwhelmed by Membetti's picture the first time I saw it, by its freedom, its faith in the beauty of the world on one hand, and its frankness on the other, its humor, its love for cinema and its, all its possibilities. There's a wonderful interview with Membetti in which he says that while he wanted to make films from time to time, he never thought of himself as a filmmaker. This seems kind of odd given the extraordinary power of the pictures he left behind before he died at such a young age. But I think he meant that he wasn't a professional filmmaker, quote unquote, that he only wanted to film specific emotions and phenomena. When children ask me, how does one make a film, he said, I always say that you have to have freedom to make a film. And to have freedom, you need confidence. I tell them to close their eyes, to look at the stars and look into their hearts and then to open their eyes and see if the film they want to make is there in front of their eyes. The sort of awe and wonder he's talking about in this lovely statement is only found in the work of great filmmakers. Filmmakers as great as Jibril Giap Membeti. Tukibuki was conceived at the time of a very violent crisis in my life, said Membeti. I wanted to make a lot of things explode, and that's just what he did. Tukibuki explodes one image at a time.